Hi, I'm Frank Cottrell Voice and I've just finished writing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Flies Again, the sequel to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. One of my own earliest memories is going to the cinema to watch the original film of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I remember very clearly the bit where the car drives off the edge of a cliff with the family on board and everybody in the cinema screamed and then these wings opened and the car flew. I've always remembered that moment. So it was a fantastic thrill for me when the Fleming family asked me to consider writing the sequel to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, to take the wheel on the fabulous restored old vintage car and take it out for one last spin. I was really excited to find out that um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was based on a real car, a car that Ian Fleming had seen when he was a little boy. And at the beginning of my story, the Tooting family, their dad has just lost his job, he's a mechanic, an engineer. So to cheer himself up, he starts to restore uh, an old VW camper van. And as he's looking around for old parts, he finds an engine, an amazing engine, and he just can't resist it. And he puts it in the camper van. He puts this massive racing engine in the camper van, and it is the engine of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And not only is it much too big, much too powerful, and much too dangerous for a family vehicle, it has also got a mind of its own. At the very beginning of the story, the Tooting family talk about all the places in the world that they'd like to go. Mum would like to go to Paris, and. The daughter would like to go, and, who's a bit gothy, would like to go and see the pyramids and think about all the dead pharaohs. And strangely, I found that when I was writing it, about this little tiny car flying through the Atlas Mountains and across the desert towards Egypt, I remembered that this was the route that um, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, who wrote The Little Prince, uh, used to take when he flew the mail. He used to fly the mail from Paris to North Africa. So I read a lot of his stuff about flying and what it was like flying in those areas. So as well as Ian Fleming, there's a little tiny bit of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry flying with us. Quite often when you read children's books, the parents have to die or children have to be evacuated or taken to a magic land before the adventure can really start. But in Chitty City Bang Bang, mum and dad and even granddad were along on that adventure. So when I came to choose a car, I, th I chose a camper van because I thought it would be great if all the family could be together in a vehicle that could take them far away. If I was a car, sadly, I probably would be a VW camper van because I've got lots of children and I love being surrounded by them. Of all the gadgets that I've thought about in these books, the, the invisibility, the bulletproofing and the wings and the time travel stuff, the thing that most appeals to me is having a bed in a car. I just still love that idea that you can go to sleep while someone else is driving. I love that. Um, although a flying car would be great, a flying car would be fantastic. <laughs>